Wildfires are burning out of control across northern and southern California today. The state's largest utility, Pacific Gas and Electric, admitted that its electrical equipment could have sparked one of those fires in Sonoma County. But the official cause has yet to be determined. William Brangham has the latest. Once again, thousands of California firefighters are battling fast-moving blazes across the state. Driven by strong winds and dry conditions, the fires are forcing tens of thousands to evacuate their homes. Hundreds of schools were closed due to poor air quality and closed highways. The Kincaid Fire in Northern California's Sonoma County doubled in size in less than 24 hours. It's already destroyed at least 49 structures and burned more than 21,000 acres. It's just 5% contained. We absolutely are up against the clock. The winds that are predicted over the next couple of days are currently expected to be worse than what we had just the other night. 400 miles south, just north of Los Angeles, the Tick Fire has burned more than 4,000 acres and several subdivisions. Officials say another 10,000 structures are threatened. It, too, is just 5% contained. Two weeks ago, the California utility Pacific Gas and Electric shut off power to hundreds of thousands of residents, trying to prevent high winds from knocking over power lines and sparking fires. Investigators believe that's what caused last year's deadly campfire that killed 85. Yesterday, PG&E said a transmission tower malfunctioned near the site where the Kincaid fire began, a blaze which continues to roar across Northern California's wine country. Thank you, everybody. For California's governor, office. Democrat Gavin Newsom, blasted the utility company uh, yesterday. Folks. It's about decades of mismanagement. It's about focusing on shareholders and dividends over you and members of the public. It's a story about greed, and they need to be held accountable. PG&E warns they'll have to cut power to more homes throughout the weekend. And if high winds continue, it could turn into the largest blackout yet for Californians. Yet another new normal for a state grappling with the growing impacts of climate change. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm William Brangham.